The long boats have landed. The Vikings are here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Valhalla, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. These three take no prisoners. That's how you know this will get ugly. WWE Universe, prepare to be shooshed. And their opponents, first, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad Gable, proven ability to teach and lead as the head of the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never thank, thank you. you. Well, here comes the man who's completely transformed himself, the prize student of the Alpha Academy. Four point Otis. And representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. Oh, some would say Otis used to be an inspiration. Now he could not be less interested in the WWE Universe. He may not be interested, but Otis is inspired. Inspired to annihilate you, to end you with one move. That's the kind of power possessed by this man. Man, Otis is an amazing mass of humanity. He could probably crush any man in that ring. Well, this man looks to massacre who's ever in front of him. As obnoxious as Alpha Academy can be, I won't deny they tend to impress in the ring. Their competitiveness and intensity is really something to behold. That begrudging compliments noted, Cole, and appreciated. With their sculpted physiques, amazing fashion sense, and in-ring skills, there are few teams who can hang with the Alpha Academy. Few teams are as committed to the game of one-upsmanship than they are, that's for sure. And guys, Memphis has been a hotbed of sports entertainment for a long time, and you can tell they still have it in their blood just by listening to this crowd. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Over and over again. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Snapmare could set something else up. Saw it coming. In full control here, face first. Ah, dragon screw. Expertly applied leg lock. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Rolling into a monkey flip. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. He turns it around. Oh, she has 
has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad all the way down. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Eric fires back. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. Quickly applies a side headlock. And look at this superstar flexing their technical acumen. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being talk like that. And that was a... And will this be it? Turn around, ref. The action's behind you. He kicks out instantly. Going to take a lot more than that to keep this man down. Destructive arm breaker. In off the tag. What the heck is this manager doing looking out of the ring? She can't be acting like this. This is right for her. Look at this. Snap suplex. Oh my goodness. A proverbial mud hole has been stopped. And now it's time to walk it dry. Ah, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Isolating their opponent's arm. And oh. Goodness gracious. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Barella press slam. He gets tagged in. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Punishing the leg. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Flexing their technical acumen. Oh, what a crash. Oh, what a clothesline. A massive springboard right on the money. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. A swift takedown. I don't think Ivar enjoyed taking that attack head on. Yeah, it looked like the Alpha Academy curriculum worked out. Nice suplex. Holding in on the arm. A show of confidence from Ivar. Oh, ouch! down. Tagged into the action. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. And he is finally able to mount some resistance with that. Time for Gable to take advantage of a misstep and take command. He's in off the tag. Oh, and a forearm 
smash. Caught with the lariat. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Playing possum! Whoa, playing possum! The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? Whoa, stiff headbutt. He moved, but can he capitalize? Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop block. With the reversal. Ah, oh, big Otis! Oh, the dominance of Otis with that slam. Otis can be cover. looking to end this. Eric! Oh, death row by Eric! Otis in big, big, big trouble. Out to the apron. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Boom. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Not what you want to see by any means. Kick out. Oh, knee to the jaw. These men have shown no indication of staying down. Their guts, their fire won't allow them to give up. Oh, what an air cut. Charm. Boom. Uh oh, pulling the hair into a mat slam. In time. Mistake made by Ivar. Oh man, check out this power. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Them off with a headbutt out of nowhere. He deflects it right back. Yes, tag. Ooh. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Vicious knee drop. Trying to work the arm. Now in control. Oof. But here comes the fire. Suplex. And he will cover. Is it enough? No, stops the count at two. How? Return fire from Gable. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. And a kick out at two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh, caught that foot by surprise. Oh, man. Turned it into a statement DDT. 
Talk about dismantling your opponent. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. A sharp blow to the neck. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Nice Japanese arm drag. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Chad's face is looking terrible. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Chad Gable up his opponent. Nice German suplex. Hold on to another. And why not? Let's get a trifecta. Nice. Will Gable make it pay off? Cover. He's still in this fight. I'm pretty sure everyone in the building thought that was going to be the end of it. Myself included. And we all know how Gable gets when things don't go his way. Hopefully he can focus on getting the job done instead of complaining about the referee's count. This crowd is thunderous right now. Who can blame them? And tag. He did it. Let's go. What a forearm. And the fight keeps being brought to Eric. Pivotal time now for Eric. He needs to get out of danger. And Eric can't stop any offense coming his way. Every form of offense Eric attempts is being neutralized. Nice amateur takedown all the way over. Jumping knee strike on point. Driving a knee into the arm. Such a spirited assault from Gable. Gable proven difficult to keep up with here. Good Lord. Talk about getting drilled. Toss. Nasty knee. And it looks like Otis is bleeding after that. Headbutt. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, stinging kick. A torturous knee. Corey, what are they going to do here? We're about to find out. Countered with the knee to the face. Great counter. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. Tagged in. Snap! Ouch. Pop! Otis is hungry. Otis is ready. Fires back with a knee. Eric! Oh, it's over. No doubt, Eric ended this. Coming to the rescue. Reaches his partner for the tag. Extending their opponent's arm and a big leg drop. I am feeling a titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxon. It's all coming to a head now. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Tag made. Oh. Locking the wrist and the knee. Be kidding me. Sharp punch. Getting him into the corner. 
Hooked. Belly to belly, way overhead. He avoids the damage. Right face like applied into the guillotine. Big right hands to the body. Shoves off his opponent, and he is out. Otis planted something here. A powerful suplex toss. Whoa. Otis is... Feeding off the WWE Universe. Able to get there in time. Ivar with a spin kick of doom. This won't end well. Opponent perched on the top rope and looks like they're about to join them. This could be a hazardous situation here. Has their opponent scooped up? Avalanche slam! He's heading up top. Thinking big. Launching. Showing that he's got the endurance to keep on going. A high grade from the Academy is coming out. This is what he wants it one more time. Oh, big high on that moonsault. Can I bar close things out? There's two. And the victory. Here are your winners. I and Eric. The Viking Raiders. And that's exactly the result the Alpha Academy wanted tonight. I'm sure Gable has an excuse already. Yeah, you can see the frustration on the faces of the Alpha Academy. I'm interested to see how they bounce back from this. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. And their opponents at a combined weight of four. 140 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperium! Imperium is steadfast in their belief that the ring is sacred 
that it must be protected from those who are true wrestlers. They harshly judge anyone who would claim to be as good as them, and their noses couldn't be any higher in the air. Now, well, maybe some superstars deserve to be looked down on. Maybe not everyone is as good as Imperium. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's a superiority complex there, Corey. And then there's whatever Imperium has going on. As regimented as a military unit, Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. Imperium believes that most of the WWE has lost their respect for the ring. They believe it falls to them to return honor to this industry. Sounds noble when you say it like that, but it usually boils down to them annihilating anyone who they think isn't on their level. And for Imperium, that's literally everyone else. True enough, Imperium has an exceptionally high opinion of themselves. This could be it. Cover! Strong kick out there. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Going right after the neck. Yeah. Beautiful neck breaker. Oh, look at this roll up. Uh oh, rolling kick by Gargano. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Gets tagged in. Full head of speed. The old running haymaker. Gosh. Waist lock applied, but their opponent, big right hand. One response after another. Uh oh, forearm gonna cut off the wind. Guillotine. The guillotine locked in. This is all. That was an incredible counter. Ooh. Uh oh. The black heart with a counter. He is delivering elbow <laughs> after elbow. Yeah. Cross body. Goes into the pin. Two. Power throw after two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Sit out, power bomb. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. No. Oh, no! My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Whip back into the ring. Big knee to the midsection. Here he comes off the tag. Got the tag. Got the tag. Gargano gets reversed. All the way up, and the big time power bomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Boom, what a punch! With the reversal! Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad! And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. 
It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Middle rope for a tornado DDT. Boom! Partner tags in. He turns it around. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Oof, that can knock you out. Tag made, fresh man in. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. Wow, long up, Stelly. Can he do it here? And he gets his shoulder up before the count. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. On the leg sweep, and now into the... He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. Ooh. Oh, man. Here we go. Tag made. Drop kick. Wow. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Ooh, had it scouted and met with the back elbow. There's a tag. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. This heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Sound the alarm. Air raid siren. I don't know how you survive that. He may be in a bad way here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Just stretching out the arm. Comes in off the tag. Eats a punch to the face. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Champa trying to shake the cobwebs, but it might be too late. Vinci. Spinning sit out power bomb. Vinci stamping an end to this. And a tag there. Whoa, not quite yet. Ooh. Denied with an elbow. Planning on what to do next. Oh, right to the throat. Back elbow right on the side of the face, and another. Down they go. 
Lyman up top. He's got big plans from the top. Elbow drop. That's got to be it. Two. Raise the roof. He's got the victory. Here are your winners. Giovanni Vinci and Luigi Kaiser. Imperium once again proving themselves to be a commanding entity. But setbacks only strengthen DIY's resolve. This will motivate them to get even better. Get on your feet and show some respect for the ring general. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria. Weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental We are looking at the man who etched his name in the history books, becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Once that bell rings, it really doesn't get more dominant than Gunther. No mercy is the name of the game. When Gunther began his career in WWE proclaiming that the ring is sacred and his accolades have proven just that. Everything Gunther does, how he competes, it's all about picking up a victory. Winning is the only outcome for the ring general. Failure is not an option. He despises mediocrity. Apollo is here, and he is determined. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Cruz. A former United States champion, Won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. You just have to survive against Guther's game-changing power. Apollo Crews fights for his family, fights to provide, and tonight he no doubt will be fighting to win. One of the most impressive aspects of Crews in the ring is his ability to adapt. Opponents might think they have him well scouted, but then he throws them for a curve. Yes, yeah, Saxton, couple that with his unrelenting focus on winning, and he is quite the dangerous competitor. But I don't think anyone in the locker room is jealous of the task he has in hand, putting himself right in the path of the ring general. Yeah, I don't think anyone looks forward to being hit by a semi truck Nothing can prepare you for the pain Gunther delivers. Look, just toying with their opponent right now. 
having fun at their expense. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Punch right in the head. Haymaker connects. to a strong kick out. He's been placed in the corner now. Those bright ambitions of Apollo Crews got sidelined for a moment by that attack. Corey, any advice for taking on a tough competitor like Apollo Crews? Keep Apollo where you can see him at all times. Between his agility and willingness to bend the rules, anytime he's out of sight, you could be in big trouble. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. This is their opponent down, middle rope, launch with a moonsault. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Oh, straight forearm. Gunther's face is starting to look mangled after that. From the top, moved out of the way. Nobody home. position here. Running power slam! A knee drop delivered. So precise. Big boot. Oh, what a knee. Turning the tables there. Big forearm. What a unique submission maneuver here. And look at the... For clutches in, this one could be over. Oh, breaking the grip, breaking the grip, breaking the hold. Oh, God. Big boot. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. There's been plenty... Guys, this is what makes Apollo so devastating. Yeah, the ability to quicken the pace. This is where Apollo Crews thrives. Looking for a high-risk move. Here we go. Ah, oh, misses the mark. This could do it. Oh, that was a hard-fought victory there, and uh. His opponent's pretty hurt, I think. He's certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come more on, what does he get out of this? What's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac. An up-and-coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up-and-coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. Let's go! Let's go! 
The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Hey, Indy, uh, what's held the NXT yeah. Women's Tag Team titles? Yeah, Indy's reached the main event level of NXT, and I believe she can do so elsewhere. Byron, she's in amazing shape. She has great in-ring IQ for her age. That's all true, Michael, but history has shown that Indy Hartwell has some bad taste when it comes to husbands. Go ahead, Byron, shoot your shot. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. And her opponent, first from the Welch Valleys, Tegan Knox. Behind the smiles of Tegan Knox is a surprising toughness. Yeah, what's impressive is that despite taking hits and suffering devastating injuries, they haven't discouraged Knox. Knox is ready to beat someone up. Enjoy doing it. A competitor who never backs down from a fight. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. When the first ever women's WrestleMania main event went on to have so many classic matches, Lynch is truly at the top of her game. Well, Michael, that's why they call her the man. A submission specialist, an amazing in-ring IQ, and one of the best brawlers in the women's division. Becky Lynch can win in so many different ways. Let's see how the man does it tonight. Here we go with triple threat rules in effect for this one, folks. Set for action, we have Indy Hartwell, Tegan Knox, and Becky Lynch. Never a moment of respite in these triple threat bouts. Each superstar will have to be very deliberate with all of their actions. You don't want to have any wasted motion, any wasted energy. What a slam! It's an Oku driver. Attack from behind. Right after the... Oh, man! Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Placed in the corner. Lynch with her opponent trapped in the corner and side kicks it all the way outside. She's taking things to ringside. There's no crying in baseball, gentlemen, but finding yourself on the receiving end of that bat might tell a different story. She sent back in under the ropes. What are we going to see here? Face buster. Thrown back in under the ropes. From behind. German suplex. In a matchup like this, Corey, what is something the competitors need to remember? Well, a major difference in a triple threat is that you can lose a match without being part of the decision. Victory can be stolen from your hands in an instant. And that's why in this match, a competitor must be cunning, calculated, and move with silent speed. Oh, with authority! Looking for something, anything under the ring. Oh, boy, she found a kendo stick. This match might just get hard to watch. 
sharp clothesline. A sit out mat slam. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Crucifix nicely done. Two count. And she kicks out at two. Not yet. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Whack. This is turning into Swanson Street. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Boom. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Look at this. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on her. Up and down. What a slam. And momentum is slipping away from Lynch. This is the aggressive side of Tegan you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Put her in a position now. Fighting out. Hellacious power slam. And a reverse DDT. Continues. That's teamwork. <laughs> Going up. Uh oh. <laughs> Going down. Punches and counters out. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh oh. <laughs> double flapjack. It's always good to find a partner in a situation like this, but that can quickly sour. Becky Lynch looking to embarrass her opponent. A devastating blow delivered to Hartwell there. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Oh, driving the elbow. Becky Lynch rolls through, and she's... Perhaps looking for some kind of... E Slides right out of the disarmor. down across the head with the axe handle. One step ahead of Indy there. Double impact. She's pushed into the corner. No edge chop. She's going for it. This could be. She pops the shoulder up in one. Her iron will on display for the world to see. She avoids the contact. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Kick to the gut. And Ooh, brutal. Becky Lynch hurts her. Oh, handle slam. Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. <laughs> she is in a jam now. Lights out. DDT connects. What are we going to see here? Let's get suplexed instead. Oh, look at this. Hair pull mat slam. Well, not the hair. Anything but the hair. Just dropped her like she was nothing. Becky Lynch, hammer lock. Into the reverse DDT. She is being destroyed in there. Yeah, this is a dot. Knox kicking out the leg of her opponent. Will that overtake Becky? Cover! Ooh! A snap mare. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. And that attack dealt a real blow to Tegan's chances. Yeah, Knox is going to have to fight her way out of a bad situation here. Lynch now on the offensive. Oh, 
Look at this. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Once she gets going with that kendo stick, this match could be over real fast. say I'm just as impressed by this win as the WWE Universe. Triple threat matches are no joke. It's Miz and Mrs. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by... such a wonderful couple because they have so much in common. Title reigns, reality television success, being beautiful. Here's another thing they have in common, Corey. They won't shut up about it all. Why would you shut up about that? These two even tag together at WrestleMania. It's Ugh. truly a beautiful love story. I wish you'd shut up about it. Alert the authorities, Dirty Dom is on the premises. I thought snitches get stitches, Corey. I'm not ratting on Dom. I'm telling the lawmen to watch their backs. And his 
his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio! The toughest young superstar in all of WWE and in Cell Block 6. Well, Dom has had big shoes to fill, and he has certainly done all that he can, for better or worse, to make a name for himself in this industry. Here we have one of the biggest names in all of WWE, the A-lister, The Miz. At least he'll say he's one of the biggest names in WWE. Like him or hate him, Miz has been successful everywhere he goes. Reality TV, Hollywood, and countless main events in WWE. Anywhere there's a camera, The Miz is going to do all he can to get in front of it. Looking at the A-lister, I think he's ready to star in another big-time victory and get his next chance to soak up the spotlight. And then we've got Dominic Mysterio, a superstar who turned his back on his own family because he thought they were getting in the way of his greatness. Dom may have inherited his father's tremendous in-ring abilities, but he certainly didn't inherit his dad's class and honor. Oh, spare me. I respect Dominic's choice to go be his own man, to put himself first. His family was just dragging him down. Dom is a cunning and lethal competitor. And now that he's surrounded himself with people who understand him instead of holding him back, there's no limit to what he can accomplish. Plenty of superstars have called out The Miz for his underhanded, perhaps even cowardly tactics in the ring. Corey, how do you counteract someone like Miz who always has a trick up his sleeve? I don't agree that his tactics are cowardly, Cole, but to answer your question, you can't let Miz play you. You've got to be resolute. You've got to keep your head on a swivel. You can't let Miz play with you if you want to come out on top. Dominic stepping up to the top. From the top, he catches Dominic with a counter. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Uh-oh. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. It hits. Oh, yeah. It. It. Oh, two. And he goes for the pin. But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. Not even a one count there. Not a very effective pin attempt. there being placed onto Dominic. Yeah, as Miz was clearly laser focused there. Oh, oh face first. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. From the second row. Goodness, what the sunset flip. Two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Somehow, some way. Boom, right across the small of the back. I don't know if Dominic can withstand much more of this. Miz is fired up, gentlemen. By the A-lister, the Miz going for the finger four leg lock. Looking for the submission. I have no idea how... Needs to find a way out, reversing the pressure. That'll break the hold. There's some power behind that punch. Slugging it out, toe to toe now. Neither competitor is backing down. Oh, he retaliates. Re 
reciprocating the initial reversal. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Got it scouted. The exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Ooh. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. We got a cover. And the Miz is your winner. Frustrating loss for Dominic Mysterio. Hard times continue for Dom Dom. Now he has even more reasons to go mope. Oh, wasting a little time. She wants this matchup to get underway, and now the fight is on. Nice takedown, and here come the right hands. So much bad blood between these two women. They cannot stand each other. Our official desperately trying to get these two women separated to officially start this match. And here we go. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Yeah, these oh, wait a second. Maybe not. Roll up. Slow count. She won't allow herself to be embarrassed this early on. Stomping. Ouch. The better part of Valor. Natalia. Sit out. Power bomb. And she kicks out. Still too early in this match. Oh, God. Got the leg, bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. By targeting the knee, they are slowing the match down, slowing the competition down. Controlling the pace, setting it to their liking. And she had Natalia's number there. No secret that Rhea Ripley possesses terrifying strength. Does that give her an upper hand tonight? Absolutely. Rhea's ability to overpower the competition and throw them around the ring gives her an instant advantage. If she can get control over her opponent, this could be a quick match. Look at that insult to injury with that one. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. Made her pay for her mistake. Looking for more damage here. Ah, release back suplex. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Finds the mark. Stop at this. Maybe not. Maybe not. Just after two. The end was in sight. Big boot. Vicious. Could be considered an unexpectedly rookie mistake from the veteran Natalia. What's coming here? Oh, man. Here's the cover. Fends off the three count. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Counters that. Mounting a downed opponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. 
And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Teen off. Brutality. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Bullseye! Escape just down they go. And again. Picking up momentum. Feeding off adrenaline. Rhea capitalizes there. Natalia with Natty by nature. That's Natalia showing just how exceptional of an in-ring talent she is. She doesn't call herself the boat for nothing. The submission specialist, Natalia. Oh yeah, Natalia. This is a hard family tradition. The sharpshooter, Byron. Ah, oh, Rhea Ripley. Rhea's gonna tap out. Submit. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Oh, strong impact. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. It's all over. Rhea Ripley gets it done. What a hard-fought victory tonight, guys. Stood up against the test and now standing tall with the victory. I got to give it up here. Great job. Here comes Sami Zayn. Underdog no more. He has reached main event status. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. Sami Zayn's a world-class competitor, no doubt about it. He just needs to make sure to get out of his own way tonight. Stay out of his head. Symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion. Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. 
If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. And I've cut Corey's mic so I can just calmly say that we'll start things off with Seth freaking Rollins. With his combination of creativity, athleticism, and skill, Rollins considers himself the guiding light of WWE, a beacon for the company, an example of what a WWE superstar should be. And the crazy thing is, he's kind of right. Honestly, minus the attitude and whatever fawning Graves wishes he could get out right now, I find it different. No, no, no! Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Sammy predicted that. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. He skirts around it. Rollins got surprised there. When you're taking on a mastermind like Seth Rollins, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take away his ability to control the match. Pace is a good place to start. If Rollins wants to these two going strike for strike, it seems. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Slugging away with everything they've got. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Oof. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Oh. Just turn that around. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Picture perfect drop kick. Will this be enough? No shoulders up at two. At this point, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Shoulders down. An easy kick out there. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. Dodged right on cue. Unbelievable athleticism. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Oh, what a cross body. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other. Sami Zayn digging deep, looking to turn the tides of this matchup. Zayn off the ropes, and Punk's awaited with a drop kick. Oh, I missed you, I wanted to knee you in the face again. Driver, wow! And Rollins couldn't get out of harm's way there. Sammy putting his mind to work and finding a good opening there. Oh god, that hurt. Right in the mouth, relentless. Right to the face. My god. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's gotta hurt. Just cranking the head. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Attack after attack coming from Zayn. And look at how he's controlling the tempo, not allowing Rollins to set the pace he wants in this match. Beautiful athleticism. Put it in the corner. Oh, a kick from Sami Zayn. Seth's eyes look glazed over. Shoulders down. What a kick out at two. Rollins staying in this thing. Some could even say he's far too stubborn to have things end like that. Look at Sammy's eyes. Zayn absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. Oof, ruthless striking. Seth losing any command of this match. Yeah, Sammy now fully in control. And he's able to reverse. face again. He's on his heels a bit now. Seth with an absolutely predatory attack there. Oh, 
elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. The back suplex right onto the apron. Uh-oh. Rollins escaping danger. And landing with the double axe handle. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. And the counter from Rollins. That unraveled on Zayn. <laughs> Seth Rollins arrogance on full. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. Stop. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. Double down. No, he beats the count. Oh, man, what a kick out. Sami Zayn remains one of the most tenacious superstars around. Hey, guys, on most nights, Rollins would have just ended this, but not tonight. These gladiators are rocked. Their game plans have been pushed to the limit. Who is it up to fight out of this war? Ow! Foot, meat, back. And Seth batters the opposition with even more offense. No doubt about it, it is do or... You doing here, Corey? Too close to the ropes. Yup, and the hold is broken. Nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. He's able to fend off the attack. Beautiful athleticism. Oh my! Out of the way in time. Some mental chess here from Rollins. Suplex! Saw that one coming. Seth Rollins. Stop! Does that finish Sammy off? Right end it. Wow, just barely making it out. Oh, man, what a kick out. Sami Zayn remains one of the most tenacious superstars. Sky high. Five star frog splash. Seth Rollins once again doing whatever it takes to defeat the competition. He is definitely determined to get what he wants. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Right across the lyrics. What a match this has been. What a fight. We are all glad to be witnessing such an extraordinary match tonight. Check on a... Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar... No, I thought this was uncalled for! Now, what does this prove?
Just take a look at the size of Sangha. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. Introducing first, representing Indusheh from India, weighing in at 297 pounds. One of the most dangerous and imposing competitors to ever come out of India. We've seen his path of destruction in NXT, but now he is focused on all of WWE. Sangha about to get to work. It might not be pretty, but it will be destructive. And believe me, the WWE roster has plenty to fear. And representing Indusheh from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, Fear Mahan! Here comes the man with a million dollar arm. A knockout punch, but also lots of unchecked aggression. Look at the rage in the eyes of Veer. I fear for the opposition tonight. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. Cedric Alexander is primed for action. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric A man with C4 in his hands, rocket launchers in his legs, a truly dynamic competitor. He first turned heads as a cruiserweight, hit another gear in the Hurt Business, and now he's on the rise. Yeah, Cedric Alexander is a very accomplished competitor and won't hesitate to go after anyone. Hopefully Cedric is not overly confident going into this match. Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. 
Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He is transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. Here comes main event, Jey Uso. And from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jey You know, you got to think Jay's in a precarious position, not having the safety net of his brother or his cousin. But ever since he's broken away, he's earned main events and has even won more titles. He has truly become the main event. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE.
high time. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. He manages to escape it. Side slam. Nice. Gets out of there in a hurry. Determination there with that kick out. Oh, he had the win. Alexander lifts him up in the fisherman buster. Drew is completely out of it. Big kick right to the gut. Oh, man, referee hit hard here. The jumping complete shot. There's first. And that one scouted. McIntyre holding him at bay. Oh, jarring back elbow. Uh oh, quick out and out. This is a guy from the top. Thank you. Trying to find a way out. Pressure is revoked. He can end it here. He's got him. Team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. We really saw what these competitors were made of here tonight. Yeah, especially the winner. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship! It's Seth freaking Rollins! Man who has spent a decade on top WWE with the accolades to prove it. A storied career, Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT champion. The first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary.
The monster of all monsters is here. Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. The one thing you have to do is prevent Rollins from that ruthless assault. You're right, but it's much easier said than done when you consider the multifaceted offensive attack of Seth freaking Rollins. Introducing the challenger from Sharon's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Those watching at home, freeze this moment in time because everything's about to change in just a few seconds. A championship match like this tends to do such things. These super... Oh, oh, that's that's a down. Line. It's cinched. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Vicious right forearm. He catches Braun looking. Shoot slam into the road, man. From the top. Double axe handle connects. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. A little insult to your injury. Strikes with a kick. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Yeah, Strowman satisfying his bloodlust a bit with that assault. I hate to say it, but you have to think Rollins' worst enemy in this match might ultimately be himself. I absolutely agree. Rollins goes in expecting victory, and when it doesn't come easily, he tends to get sloppy. My advice to him, don't get caught in your own head. Look at these kicks right across the face. Multiple kicks connect. Oh, super kick instead. Caught that one with his face, and Braun Strowman is bleeding. Cover! An early kick out for the challenger. Anyone who's. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. He's able to. Rollins! Here comes Seth! Sling blade! Rollins in complete. Oh, no, it's roll up! And the champion avoids the two count. Could be in search of a second win now. Man. A jumping knee strike. Lights out. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, Seth with a potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Braun needed. The U-turn Braun needed in this match could have been that right there. Hurled away. God. Treating the champ like a child. Lifting them up and sending them crashing down like they're nothing. This is just brute power. Oh my goodness, absolute dominance. Good timing with that reversal. He 
he reverses it. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Oh, look out. Whoa, oh, look out. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Tossing them aside. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Rollins getting worked on here. Rollins has to devise a new plan. What a punch. Uh-oh. Shoulders down now. And he might have been able to cinch things there. I don't understand the choice to stop the pin count. Oh, man. Toss back into the ring. Big risk here. He may. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. No! Rollins looking to end it. Curve stop. The champ will stay champ. Makes the cover. Seth Rollins keeps his title and doesn't look like it's going anywhere. The champion retains whoa, the whoa, title. Wait, 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 guys. You hear that? Oh, look who it is. Mr. Money in the Bank. Is he going to cash in right now? Is he going to do it right now? There's no better time than the present. Oh, wow. He's cashing in. He's ready to go. The champion's weakened. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. This Money in the, the Bank of Mr. Money is in the cashing bank. in his contract. Slip by Rollins. Setting up neck breaker position. Bang! Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Oh, the elbow connects. These two trading one blow after another. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. And that was an effective attack, guys. Big reversal by Rollins. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Rollins just a step too slow. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking now. Watch the back of the net. And I think, oh yeah, Priest is green. Take off. No way I can take the whole complexion of this match. to reverse. Oh, that hurt in the chest. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. He's got the answer for that one. Oh, nice close line. position. Ooh, right to the throat. <laughs> Seth retaliates. And another counter. to the gut creates separation. Look to the gut by Rollins. Oh, stop! Cover! Here is your winner and Mr. Money in the Bank.
Big win as he retains the championship. A pretty impressive defense. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now.